I could have kept listening to that ZZ Top, but I think y'all would rather hear a story instead. So, I worked for this lady for one season. Let's call her Sarah. Not her real name. Sarah was a really nice lady, and the yard uh, was an okay yard. It was kind of an odd-shaped property in the uh, in the backyard, especially. It had it had um, it was kind of a triangle. And um, bit stuck here in this neighborhood for just a second. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So Sarah had a triangular shaped yard. This is what I'm dealing with here, trying to get out. This rider truck won't get out of the way. <laughs> but so Sarah had an odd shaped triangular backyard. And she was constantly fighting with weeds in the beds and everything like that. Well <clears throat> She was the kind of person that she, um, when I started working for her, she would write me a blank check and she would write it out to me and then she would leave the amount blank. So she would tell me basically like, you know, fill in whatever the amount is. And then, you know, I would tell her what the amount was, which it was always about the same to mow her yard, you know, bi-weekly. So it was about a $50 property, if I recall correctly. So one time I show up there and she is outside and she is just in a frenzy over the weeds in the garden beds. And she's, she's going nuts and just, you know, carrying on about how she's upset with the weeds in the garden beds. And she wants the, you know, she wants to deal, she wants to get rid of the weeds and all this. And now keep in mind, this is a different, um, this is not the same, uh, quote, crazy lady who I talk about in other videos. This is a different lady. So she was going crazy about the weeds and everything. And I'm, you know, just doing what I typically do, typically do cutting the grass and everything. And she, she comes to me and, and you know, she said, she's talking to me and she goes, I, you know, the, the grass just grows so fast and it's, there's so much in the beds and yada, yada. And I say, okay, well, I mean, you know, do you, do you have an idea of what something you, you think I can do better or, you know, I can give you some options. I don't know what, you know, what your budget is working with that. Well, she didn't seem concerned with that at the time. She told me, so she asked me, she goes, can you tell you what, can you double cut my backyard? And I looked at her and I thought that was kind of an odd request. And I'm like, double cut the backyard. Now this backyard's kind of thick right now. So I'm going, okay. Let me explain this to you. If I double cut the backyard, and she also wanted me to bag too. She wanted the grass, she wanted me to bag up the clippings. So I said, okay, listen, if I double cut this backyard, which is most of the property is the backyard. The front was virtually nothing, but the backyard was this huge triangular shaped backyard. She goes, if I, I said, if I double cut this backyard and bag this, it's going to be double the price of the normal service just so you know. And she goes, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't, she, she goes, I don't care how much it costs. I want the backyard double cut were her exact words. So I said, oh, okay, yes, ma'am, you're the boss. So I got my mower out and I cut the backyard one direction, bagged. I turned the mower around the opposite direction, dropped it a quarter of an inch and I cut it the opposite direction, bagged. It was about four or five bags of grass at the end. So she came out with the check and I told her, listen, understand I double cut the backyard this time. It's going to be $100 is the amount. And she said, okay. She wrote me the typical blank check that she'd done and that was it. So I filled out the amount and went to the bank and cashed it and everything cool. Well, I come back two weeks later to service the property again. She's there. She starts talking to me and she goes, don't, don't, don't don't charge me so much like you did last time. And I looked at her going, what? I'm like, uh, well, okay, that depends. Do you want me to double cut your backyard again? She goes, no, no, you can't do that ever again. And then she looks at me dead serious. She looks at me and says, last week I couldn't go to the grocery store and buy food because you charged me double. 
and I looked at her and I'm just beside myself a little bit like, wait a, wait a minute, you couldn't have told me, you had full warning that this was going to be the amount you were going to be charged, you know, before I did the job, I said, listen, it's going to be double the cost if you have me do this, and you said, okay, you even said you didn't care how much it cost, you wanted it done, and she, oh, I, I, you know, she was just, she didn't deny that she said that, but she was kind of like, I guess she thought I was not going to do, not going to stick to my word. And she thought I would just charge her the normal amount. I don't know why she thought that, but either way, <laughs> from then on out, I worked for her for the rest of that season. And for then, from then on out, from that point on, she always wrote the amount in the check number in the check she she never wrote it blank again from that point on and i mean i it's not a big deal i don't people don't have to write me a blank check but still i think it was kind of funny she she felt a little bit like the trust like like she couldn't trust me as much after that when when she had full notice that if you have me double cut the property it's going to be double double the price because that's how you double cut a yard especially if you're bagging might be might be a little different if you're mulching or side discharge, but if you're bagging that property, double cutting that, yeah, no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be double the cost. I'd tell anybody that who was uh, asking about that specific, um, that very particular service, and so I did not work for her after that season. She decided to find someone cheaper to do the lawn after that, and that was perfectly fine because, in all honesty the price would have gone up the very next season as much of a pain as that lawn was to cut triangular shaped yards you know and when people want them bagged and sometimes and it's just it's just some sometimes it's just not worth it and that was one of the case where it wasn't wasn't really worth it